Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm going to show you this really nice set of forged racing pistons I received today. Here's the st st statistics on it. They're dished pistons. There's the compression height. It's designed for a 3.625 stroker crank with a long rod, 6.350 rod. It's a 3.80 diameter, and it fits a standard bore Buick V6. Now let's open this box and check it out. These pistons were rather expensive, but when I build my race engine for the 1980 Turbo Buick, I want to have the best pistons, and these are some of the best pistons I've ever seen. Here are the little uh, retainers that hold the wrist pins in the piston. Here's the statistics on the pistons. Here's where you can order the pistons. And here you go, 3,800 bore for the 231 V6 in Grand National, 15cc Buick Dishtop Forged Piston Set, 3.800 bore, comes with pistons and rings, it has horizontal gas porting and extreme heavy duty pins. The pistons themselves were about $639.95 for a set. The ring kit was another $159. And the special gas porting and the wrist pins were another $190. So total $1,042.22 for the racing pistons. Now, these are the best forged pistons I've ever seen for a Buick really good pistons. They're short and they'll, they're lightweight. They will rev nice and they will go with the H-beam correcting rod, H-beam connecting rods that I ordered, which are 6.30 connecting rods, which are designed for this setup. Okay. I just got the box today. Now let's go look at these are the piston rings. Comes with the oil ring, the top and bottom ring. Let's take a peek at them real quick. These boxes just don't like to open very well, but as you can see, there's the oil rings. Oil rings, top and bottom ring. There we go. Okay, here's some instructions. Of course, you got some stickers for the toolbox or wherever you want to put them. And let's take a look at these racing pistons. These are the nicest pistons I've ever seen for the Grand National. Look at that. Let's take one of these out of the plastic and take a look. I'm going to unwrap it. We're going to look at this beautiful forged piston. Look at that. Oh, man, that's a beautiful piston. Look at that. Just enough clearance for the valves. They're dished pistons. Just enough clearance for the valves. So this will be a nice high compression racing piston. The skirt is fairly short. There's the top and bottom ring and the oil ring. There's the wrist pin. The nice wrist pin right there. Look, look at that number right there. Nice forged piston. I'm looking forward to putting this into the original engine from the 1980 Buick Regal Sport Coupe Turbo. Originally a draw through turbo setup, but I'm going to convert to blow through carburation with these racing pistons. The 3.625 Stroker Eagle Crankshaft. 
and it's going to go with the 6.350 connecting rods, the long road, long rod setup. And of course, you can see the rest of the pistons right there. But I'm really impressed with these pistons. Wow. Nice wrist pin. It'll fit that 6350 rod real nice. It's a match set. They all weigh the same. What a quality forged piston. Now, we can compare to a stock piston. Let's look at a stock piston, see what it looks like. <clears throat> This is a stock I-beam connecting rod. See how if you look at it a certain way, it looks like an eye. And see how long the skirt is? There's the piston ring that has to be pressed in with a lot of force. Top and bottom ring and oil ring. Now let's look at this piston. Well, let's compare it with the forged racing piston. Look at that. Look at the difference. Cast. Piston, forged piston. See the difference in the uh, the length and the height? This piston is going to rev really nice, and it's very strong. What a beautiful piston. I'm very impressed with this set of pistons. Put this back with the others. These will be a spare set of pistons I throw in another engine. Anyway, hope you like this video. I'm showing you the racing pistons and I'm gonna put it into the spare stroker engine. I'm gonna take the stroker engine out of the 87 Buick, which is a 4.5 liter or 274 cubic inch stroker engine. I'm gonna put that in the 1980 Turbo Buick Regal Sport Coupe with a blow-through carburetor. And I'm gonna install, this is the stroker engine right here. Put a lot of time and money in this, so I do not want to sell this with my car. I'm gonna sell this 87 Buick Regal, and I don't want this very expensive engine to go with it, so I'm gonna put the original numbers matching engine that I just rebuilt on the last few videos you saw. Right here is the original numbers matching 3.8 liter that came originally in this 87 Buick Regal Turbo T Limited. And when I get done, I'm gonna sell this for around $15,000 when I'm done, put the original engine back in, but I'm still going to leave the special KB four and one headers. It's a T4 custom headers with a T76 turbocharger, external wastegate. I'm gonna bolt all these accessories and all these turbo goodies on the original numbers matching engine. So this car is still gonna be fast when I sell it, but I'm taking this stroker engine out and putting it in my 1980 Turbo Buick Regal Sport Coupe. And these racing pistons here are going to be the spare racing engine I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a spare stroker engine because the 4.5 liter 274 cubic inch stroker, you know, who knows how long it's gonna last. I wanna have a spare engine in case that engine starts acting up. I have another engine to put in it and I can keep racing for the year. Then I can rebuild the 274 stroker and have a spare engine. I always like to have a spare engine. So, hope you like this video and Thank you for watching. Have a great evening.